Hey guys, this is going to be a quick one, we're just going to make a shield and since we already have a shield item type created all you have to do is download some asset and create your item in a data table and I would recommend trying to do it yourself because it's a good practice and only if you are struggling then watch the video I already downloaded my shield from Sketchfab it's this lovely golden shield and it was actually in a wrong format, so I had to import it to Blender and then, you know, export it as FBX and change the size of it and stuff like that. But obviously you can find a lot of free assets that are in FBX. So download whichever shield you like. And once you have done that, just make sure you change the build settings to be, or build scale, sorry, so the shield is the correct size. And then all you have to do is just create the... Uh, item so in your items you're going to right click on items bp create child blueprint class this one will be my golden shield underscore bp in here i'm going to equip the static mesh to golden shield no, i haven't renamed it yet so in my meshes i do have shield and this one is going to be Golden shield. Now, golden shield here. Compile and save. Once you have done that, you need an icon. So go to icon creator. Wrong one. Icon capture BP, viewport. And I'm going to change this static mesh to golden shield reset the position and then let's just turn it around I should have liked it like this and I'm going to turn down my intensity on the light Once you have to with the icon, just right click on the render, create static texture, which will be golden shield. Underscore S, underscore icon. Change the texture group and change the compression settings. One and zero. Save it. And then, as I said, we already have an item type because we created it on the beginning, the shield. So you just need to create an item. Add new one. Golden shield. Name golden shield. Shield, golden shield. One one, it will be shield. Skeletal mesh we don't need. Rarity will be legendary for me. Base stats will be armor. We need to do maybe hundred and hundred and fifty. Stats. I'm going to have uh, health fifty, stamina fifty, I'll do health regeneration zero point one, something very low. Actually, no, it's just going to run for no reason. So, it's a condition. Critical hit chance, five. 
Mm, critical hit damage. 50. And that's going to be my shield. For conditions, nothing. Weight will be... 8. Value will be 500 and 100. Description. I'm not going to put materials. Uh, just for now, I'm going to do like iron because we don't have gold or anything created. So iron bar and 20. Crafting level is going to be 200. The rest of it is fine. And now I can just change one of these items. I'm going to do my helmet as well. Still helmet. This one is going to be my shield. I'm going to do my full set. Gloves and boots. Um, now, one more thing with the shield. So let's position it in a player blueprint. I'll just open the mesh directly. I like to go through here. Mesh. I'm going to change preview mesh to mannequin. And we already have done the slot as well. Uh, socket, I mean. So we just need to remove all attached assets and then into shield I'm going to add my golden shield and then turn on the snapping rotate it 180 degrees move it back up and maybe I rotate it a little bit like this Now with the rotation of the shield, you always want to have all the shields rotating the same way because there is, there is a strap, you can see it here in the... Let me open the asset. So in the meshes, open your shield. And you always have some kind of strap at least on most of the assets, okay? The one you hold it as well. And you're kind of gonna put your arm around there. But what I like to do is, as I rotate the shield, I do have strap on the right side always. And and uh, pivot point usually is in the center of the shield. If it's not, what you can do is in the inside the mesh, you can search for rotation, and you got import rotation, okay? And you need to actually have a base static mesh. You can't create one from skeletal mesh because otherwise it won't work. But what you can do here is change the rotation and then re-import re the base mesh and it will rotate the way you want it. So you can all of the shields, you can do the same way. So it always be on the right, so they all fit correctly. I'm just going to leave mine at zero because this is how it was and it's actually the good way around. So. We have shield. All I have to do now is check if it's working. My icon is a little bit too bright, so maybe I'll do another one. And that's it. We do have axe that I can equip as well. And there's one little issue that you're going to have is with clipping arms when you're running as well. And unfortunately, you can't really avoid it until the part where we're going to make some animations you know or change the existing animations so maybe we can not move the arms as much or we change the running animation to a different one and it won't be happening but you know as i saw it in most of the games it happens anyway even in like proper mmorpgs you know that got millions of budget so you know nothing to be worried about and yeah so as I said, it was a very quick one, so I'll see you in the next one. Bye.